What's up, Matt Saby here from Cable Cutting Online. Today I'm gonna to review PlayStation View. PlayStation View is probably the best user experience out there. The first people that I helped to cut cable TV were my parents. So my parents have six kids. Yeah, I'm one of six. I'm number four, and so middle child. Anyways, you guys know what that means. They'll have a lot of people wanting to watch shows at one time. Um, so, I figured PlayStation View would be a great option because it allows for five different viewers at one time. It also allows for five different profiles. Uh, that means for five different people they can log in and then click on their profile and have their own customized uh, user interface which will include all their favorite shows. Uh, it will have different suggestions for different people. It's just a really nice way for a family to be able to watch TV. Most other services don't allow for any other user profiles. I thought PlayStation View would be best for them because it had a cloud DVR. So they could record and then skip through channels and you know watch their favorite shows. Uh, and that's super important to my parents. Also, it had most of the channels that they wanted. If you're a family, PlayStation View might be the best option out there for you. One of the great things about PlayStation View is that it does have a lot of the like most popular channels out there. Pretty much all the main broadcasting uh, stations out there except for CBS, which if you're way into CBS, that's kind of a big downside. Um, you could always just add buy CBS All Access Pass for $10 a month, um, and then you'd get your own CBS. Just kind of treat it like a premium add-on, I guess. I want to show you guys what PlayStation View looks like on a Roku TV. Uh, this is a Roku TV, so a Roku is pre-installed uh, into the TV. So the PlayStation View app is uh, pretty cool. You got your guide, your shows, same as Sling. You can go uh, have your favorite shows. Um, you can search. So it's, it's a little more basic than Sling, but personally, I like that. So let me show you the guide real quick. It's a classic grid guide. These are all live. The red line shows where it's live. PlayStation's base package starts at $40 a month. It's 71 cents per channel. The next highest is about 59 cents per channel. So that's like 12 cents more per channel at least. Uh, so that's kind of a big downside. And also the prices have increased. When I originally got PlayStation View, it was only $35 a month. It, I wish that they just, you know, be able to keep their price, but they are like all other streaming services, no contract, so like anybody can cancel if $40 is not worth it anymore. PlayStation View is much more credentialed than other providers. For example, PlayStation View can log into about 40 different apps, where most providers can only log into 10 and 20 different apps. Let me explain why credentialing is important. If you want to watch The Walking Dead, for example, on PlayStation View, you might be able to watch three, four episodes. But if you log into ABC's app, you can watch every single episode ever made using your PlayStation View credentials. So it allows you to access more episodes than you could before. Let's say you're into sports and you like being sports, that channel. If you like soccer, for example, on PlayStation View, you can only watch the live channel. But if you log into being sports using your PlayStation View credentials, you get access to most of being sports content. I'm going to put a link below with all the apps that PlayStation View is credentialed with. PlayStation View is not super customizable, however. It does allow for some premium add-ons, and it does have different packages which you can choose between. But that's about it. There's not a bunch of extras like Sling TV. So you just got to make sure that it has your channels. Otherwise, you're just kind of out of luck. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest news on online TV, please subscribe below.